Hi everyone, welcome to a new series that Janine and I are doing. Because guess what? What? It's basically July, and we all know what July means. It's early October. Basically. I mean, it is. Happy yeah. October. Happy October. Welcome to a new series we are calling Pumpkin Patrol Retail Edition. If you Wait, guys, that's what? not good enough. What do you mean? Pumpkin Patrol Retail, Retail Edition. Edition. And if you guys <laughs> are new to our channel, Janine and I are vintage holiday collectors. We love going to estate sales and flea markets. We love vintage Halloween, but we also love the new stuff and we love mm -hmm. the holiday itself. So I think what we're going to do is go to some of our favorite retail locations and see what Halloween goodies they have out, mm -hmm. what de decorations mm -hmm. and like, I don't know, anything Halloween related they have out basically, right? Like, yeah. even if it's like a little candy bar that's says Happy we are Halloween, here for we're going to find it. Yes, we're on that pumpkin tr patrol. A lot of people, you know, are on the lookout with their binoculars for Halloween all year long and we are no different. So in this series, we're going to take you along and... Like Janine said, show you everything and anything Halloween out of the stores. Today we are at At Home, which we've heard through the Halloween grapevine or maybe the pumpkin um, patch that is one of the first stores in the U.S. coming out with Halloween decor. And we are hoping to find some today. So we're going to head in and see what we can find. Let's go. Let's go. You know what, Laura? What? I feel like I'm right at home. <laughs> also, you've got your No Pumpkin Left Behind pin on. 2022 edition. Are we coming out with a new one this year? I sure hope so. I think we are. I already see the Halloween. Oh, wow. Look at the big stone. Hold on. One thing at a time. Take a... Jean, Jean, Jean. Take a breath. It's okay. We're going to look at it all. We'll be okay. It's also extremely quiet in here and I'm screaming. Okay, guys. So it does look like we're starting to get the first shelves of Halloween out. It. It's, it's the baby skeleton, right? It's, it's really sort of cute. cute. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but what I don't like are these octopi. <laughs> oh, I thought it was cute too. The octopi? Yeah. Oh, oh I guess it's sort of <laughs> cute. Then there's like a little Frankenstein baby and different dinosaurs. These all look to be $6.99. What is this? A rabbit? I guess it's sort of cute. You could put little baby doll clothes on it. Oh, stop making me want one. Are we adopting a baby skeleton today? Maybe. So, Laura, what do you think? I'm excited. Should we go, like, shelf by shelf? I mean, isn't that what we're here for? I, I kind of so. really like these skulls. I don't know why. So, yeah, we've got, look, under $10. I guess maybe this whole end area. We've got little skeletons for 99 cents oh i'm gonna have to buy a couple of those Can fashion some earrings out of that please do not wake the dead they're grumpy welcome to our haunted home and yeah i i agree i like these little pearlescent shimmery skull i said an iridescent iridescent for 2.99 that's a good price wow okay so here we have some bigger pieces this is a dragon gargoyle looking thing and Oh, some fun little that. pieces oh so a lot of these retailers in the past like five years have been putting out like ceramic tree reproductions modeled after like the 1970s ceramic trees but this is the first time i'm seeing this like skull version like bone skull that's pretty cool i bet this is gonna go fast this year 30 bucks pretty cool oh look this one's already broken a little chip on the wing that's cool though. That's different. It is different. There's a few of them up there. And then there are just some different decorative pieces. I sort of like this brain candle for $9. A little frog. Everything here is under like $10 so far. So that's pretty interesting. $12.99. Oh, we've uh, ventured outside oh, yeah. the $10. I think there's just that little oh, okay. part right there. Got it. But I do like these little like wooden signs oh, your... Jenny and I like these ornaments we could put these on our um, aluminum Christmas tree little shiny purple bats and matte bats cute and those are only seven dollars so I think that's a good price really fun okay 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 look at the size of these skulls <laughs> they are huge like look do you think it's heavy it's pretty heavy. It's, it's like, if that was a real person, it's like a titan. I could do like squats with this, like bench press, you know? <laughs> it's probably around 
30 pounds. Holy cow. Um, it's $129. But it's saying it's try massive. me. Okay, should I try it? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. I feel like it, I was expecting it to scream. Oh, I'm glad it doesn't. Eerie Estate. Oh! Oh, that was me. I thought I started, it started blinking. Um, Eerie Estate's 25 inch. Seems bigger than 25 inches. This thing is huge. And then if the big skulls are your thing, you can get a little mini skull. Yeah, just a little one. This one's a lot lighter. And it's um, $5. Nice. Okay, we've got a whole lineup of gargoyles. But look at this These creepy ghost. heads for $15. It's almost like a flat back um, blow mold. It is. It's, it's sort of quite, cute. It's not quite like a blow mold. But it, it almost is. It kind of is, actually. If it's a molded plastic, it's a blow mold, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it lights up. Like a very like welcoming sound. <laughs> a very <Happy> cute ghost. <laughs> did you know they actually hired me to do the voice? Oh, did they? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're moving on to like the second section. This is sort of my type of jam. It's like the cutesy. Oh, that? Maybe not the skeletons. You sure? Is oh, yeah. Western skeleton cowboy is my favorite. Yeah, right? How'd you know? I thought so. They don't have like the prices along here. Is that typical for at home? It's just I the hang tags? On, yeah, I think it's on there. Okay, so we've got some fun, spooky pumpkins for $20. I really like these, Janine. I like these little um, lanterns. They're only $4. And look at the little designs on each side. Oh, huh, those are interesting. They are sort of fun. Oh, another little Western Cowboys um, skeleton for $20. If anybody's watching this channel and doesn't get our humor, like I do not, this is actually not my favorite piece here. Just wanted to make that clear. It is fun though. Um, okay, so we've got this whole section that we just looked over. Got some gnomes up there. I feel like the gnomes have been here for skeleton. a while. What? They have an animated skeleton. Where? Right there. Oh. It plays the harmonica? $75. Want to play it? Do oh, you want play? play? Yeah. I'm a little scared. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Also interesting place for the button. Yeah. <laughs> you don't look very uh, amused. Not what I was expecting. <laughs> All right, round of applause for our friend here. Um, not what I was expecting. Interesting, but not what I was expecting <laughs> out of him. But he literally just played the harmonica, so it's pretty cool. Oh, oh look at the spiders! They're all like. Little spiders all, up like, there. Up. Cozy spiders and some more like wooden signs. Love you more than candy. Boo y'all. Looks like we've also got some more um, wooden signs. I really like this one. Eat, drink, and be scary with a little bow up top. That's sort of cute. Janine, I love this um, doormat. It's the last one left. Sure. Should you get it? $12.99. It's really cute. And then we have this really cute section. This is my type of Halloween. Cutesy fun colorful i like the spooky stuff too but i really like what they have here yeah. these cute little candy holders they light up too which is pretty cute i like the cat those are so fun they're only 10 to 15 dollars little vampire is cute and then we have these really cute wooden light up and boxes light up. yeah yeah and I feel like these have been like popular for, you know, a few years now. These like painted ceramic pumpkins. Mm -hmm. I like the bats though. That's fun. It is fun. I like the candy corn one too. So these are like $15. And the smaller ones are also 15 which is interesting. Probably because these are a little bit more detailed. Oh, there's a whole nightmare before Christmas area. It's a little zero. Cute. A lot of them too. A lot mm -hmm. of zeros for $7. A blue mold. Zero. Oh, it's a blow mold? Oh, it's blow pretty cool. Mold, laid up blow mold zero. That's the first time I've seen like a blow mold zero. I remember they had the um, Oogie Boogie ones at Home Depot last year that were very mm -hmm. popular. How much is this guy? He's only $20. That's really not bad. He's really cute. He is cute. He even has the whole jack-o'-lantern nose right there. Cute. 
And in this circumstance, where like um, I'm not typically like excited about like the LED colored light, I think it really works for zero. for zero. Yeah. Yeah. It suits him. It sure does. We love blow molds. We collect a lot of vintage Halloween blow molds, um, but they're starting to make a comeback. And I could definitely see zero being popular this year as a blow mold. Oh, but I really like these mini light up pumpkins with the jack face. Oh, it's cute. Only $5 on those. We also have some Jack Skellington tombstone decor. And little lighted pumpkins. The bottles for $10. Yeah, I was saying how cute those mm -hmm. are. They also have a bigger version here for, I think it's like $10 or so, if you want a bigger version. And they have all these guys, which are cool too. Also sort of a blow mold, Janine. Oh, wow. Yeah, plastic material with the cutouts for the eyes. And this one is also 20. Pretty cool. These little ceramic ghosts are really cute. If you're into cutesy Halloween for $15. And I really like this um, Mylar balloon style, mm -hmm. which is pretty popular this year. I think this little ghost is really cute. He is cute. He's also sort of like a balloon. And look up there, they have different welcome mats. I wonder what those ones are. Oh. Black on the edge where this one doesn't. Yeah, there's more welcome mats up there. I also feel like they haven't fully um, filled out all the peg walls. So this is the look for this wall. I don't know if there's more. We'll take a take a swing around the side and say, oh, oh, I like this one, the Ouija board one. Fun. They're all thirteen dollars. It looks like, right? Whoa! Look how big this one is. Whoa! That one's thirty, but it is so cool. Love that one with the owl. Cool, cool. Look at these, Jean. Do you think they're like dancing skeletons? Yep. How do I know? <laughs> Notice they have some uh, inflatables this for one, Halloween on really the shelves. Cool. This one's cool. Not blown up like how they like to do it in the center of the store yet, but still really cool to see. I like that archway. Janine's running away. What, Janine, what? Oh, wow, they have the whole animated, um, the animated guys. And a 10 foot posable skeleton. I think we might have to pick it up. Okay. Um, actually, no, but still really cool. Um, oh, I thought this said. Twenty-seven ninety-nine, and I was like, "Well, oh if that's the case, we actually do have to pick it up. Might as well." <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we hope you enjoyed coming along to at home to check out the Halloween. We will continue to be on Pumpkin Patrol Retail Edition as we look for Halloween decor as it comes out as soon as it hits the shelves. Thanks for joining us, guys. See you next time. Bye. Bye.